This exhibit really came together because we had been using the Fragment Collection um, to, uh, for, for different projects in the historic area. The Coffee House was really the, the big project that was informed by our Architectural Fragments Collection. And, and the collection actually started developing before Colonial Williamsburg was even founded in the 1920s. People were saving pieces of buildings, you know, the, especially the ornate pieces. You know, Palisters and windows and things like that, and they they'd put them in their cellars either because they thought that they they were neat or that the building was really important. This was worth saving, or in a lot of cases, they thought that they would just maybe reuse it someday. Um, and that's clearly the case with a lot of the objects that we found. When Colonial Williamsburg um, was founded, and they started looking um, at the restoration, what the buildings look like, they started looking at those fragments, um, and then they started collecting them. And today we have over 50. 15,000 pieces in our Architectural Fragments collection. And that's really what, what developed this. How do we know what we know? Um, what do these pieces tell us? Paint colors over time, construction techniques, the different woods that are used, and how valuable they are to our understanding of what Williamsburg looked like and, and what things were like in the 18th century. There's a lot that we can learn from artifacts uh, that are left from uh, structures throughout the historic area. The process in the past of looking at, at paint on historic structures was called paint reveal. And what they would do is they'd take a razor blade and they would literally scratch down layer by layer through that paint, eventually exposing the wood, and then they'd go to the next layer up. You know, that was the first color um, that, uh, that was on the building. Today we do it a little bit differently. We take a very small sample with a scalpel um, and we actually embed that in um, a plastic cube. And then we cut the sample in half and we look at it under a microscope and we can see all of the layers of paint built up over time. Now the advantage we have today is obviously we have um, uh, the technology to look at those layers in much different ways. So we can tell the difference between primer coats and finish coats um, and, and, um, and then the materials that were used to make those paints which are very, very important in dating. So we have a couple of different windows on display in the exhibit. The one that everyone really likes to look at is the weighted sash. And so this is actually a window sash that would be counterweighted. As you lifted the bottom sash, it actually would hang in place. There was a, a cord that attached the window sash. It went up the, uh, up the window jam to a little pulley and then went into the framing back behind it to a lead weight. That lead weight is what counterweighted the window sash. Can see the window sash in this exhibit and go to the coffee house and see the same exact window. One of the great things about this exhibit is we're showing people the complexity of these types of elements um, that they otherwise can't see. This is also kind of a behind the scenes um, tour of, of how these buildings function. You know, everything from, from bricks to shingles to siding to, to paint colors are informed by, um, by the Architectural Fragments Collection and elements that are in the exhibit. People, when they see this exhibit, the information that they're seeing, we're actively using all over the historic area every day.